In this video, I will show you how to design a sheet metal hopper using the sheet metal feature tab in the SOLIDWORKS. You can see here. Let's see how we can design this. So, as we want to work in a sheet metal, we will right click on this feature tab and select from here sheet metal. And you can see the sheet metal tab will now appear here. In this, we will first of all select a base flange or tab. In this, we have to work on a front plane. So, I will select front plane. After that, we have to select here one corner rectangle. From this origin point, I will draw one corner rectangle like this. Okay. Let's assign it dimensions. Forty mm. Then uh, this one will be two hundred mm. And then just select okay. Now just exit this sketch. You can see this base flange tab. In this, we have to give your sheet metal thickness. We'll keep here one mm thickness. And here we have to give a bend allowance as a K factor. 0 0.5 is a default. We'll keep it as it is. And auto relief will keep your rectangle. Then just click on OK. Now we have to use your edge flange. I will click on it. In this, we have to select this edge. I'll select this inside edge. You can see here. I've selected this edge. Now we have to give a direction to extrude. As it is given this direction, we want reverse direction. So I will drag here like this and click on it. And in the flange length, you can see we have kept end condition line. And in this, we have to give here distance of 200 mm. As our one flange is of 200 mm that we have created, the same as it is, we will keep here 200 mm. And between these three options, we will select our first option, which is the outer virtual sharp. Okay. And in the flange position, we will select here material inside. Material inside will keep and We'll click on the trim side bands. Below that, you can see if you want to give a custom band allowance, you can give it as well as relief, as well as relief type you can give here. Nothing else we have to change right now. We'll just click on OK. Same as it is, we have to create another flange. So again, I'll click on edge flange. Then as it is, I'll select this edge and this direction, I'll extrude, distance will give 200 mm, same outer virtual sharp and material inside, okay. Now we have to give your last flange, as it will be the close flange, so we have to again click on edge flange. We will select this inside edge. Drag here like this. This time here we have to give a distance so that we have to give here some gap. So we will give here distance 198.5 mm. As you can see here a clear gap between this flange and this flange. But this gap looks much more. So I will just give it 198.80 mm. So now this looks fine. And in the flange position, we'll keep your material outside. Okay. So now you can see. Okay. So that's it. Nothing else will change here. Click on OK. So now we have to give here another flange. So we will click on edge flange. Then we have to click inside edges of this bottom flange. Then we have to click this inside edge. Okay. Same as it is this inside edge. 
then uh, this one the last okay you can see once we click all inside edges it will look like this now here we'll keep gap of 0.2 mm basically in the sheet metal this gap varies from 0.2 to 0.3 mm and here we'll keep angle of 25 degree and in the end condition we'll give here distance of 160 mm then we'll keep here outer virtual sharp the end condition we'll keep here Now we have to create here another flange. So I'll click on edge flange. Then just in the flange parameters, I'll select this inside edge. Then again click on it. Select this inside edge. Same as it is. We'll click on this edge. We have to select all these four inside edges. But here you can see its direction is going inside, but we want outside direction. We'll select here reverse direction so that you can see it will look like this. Now change its angle to the 25 degree. Okay, we'll keep here gap of 0.20 mm and in the flange length, we'll give here 35 mm. Bend, flinch bend will keep here bend outside. Okay. So now our hopper is ready. You can see the sheet metal, the sheet will look like this if we flatten it. Okay. Let me assign some material to this. In the metal steel, I'll select here polished steel. So that's all in this video. I hope you like this tutorial. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe us. Thanks for watching.